welcome back. I don't know if you guys can see me. Uh, I'm gonna explain some few things. This is a one-take vlog. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna explain some things, and then we'll get into a full topic of November. And sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see me. Um, hope you guys can. <clears throat> I'll review it later, and we'll figure it out. All right. Um, I'll just lay it against the bed, I guess. Um, so this is a November video. It sort of has been a long break since the Narragansett. I'm gonna go over what sort of happened because this is just a, like a what's happened video. Also, this is a one take. I got a brand new computer. Should have brought that up, but I got a brand new computer because my old one was broken. That black one that you saw in the Narragansett video. So there's gonna be no editing whatsoever. It's a one take vlog. No editing at all because I don't have an editing software. Brand new computer. Um. Oh. And yeah. All right. You know, November video, full take, one long one long video. <coughs> I'm gonna show you guys some things on my phone, most of this, alright. So, here's some things to talk about. The first one I wanted to go over was the Chick fil A lunch we had from uh, had <coughs> after we got back from Narragansett, Rhode Island. Don't have it here. What I meant is we went to Chicka P, Massachusetts, stopped at Chick fil, Chick -fil A there, which we don't ever have here up in, here in upstate New York. <coughs> so. Uh, we went to stop there for lunch when we came back from there against Rhode Island. That was pretty fun. And the last day of summer vacation, before I went back to school, 8th grade has been really nice, too. Um, so that's something else to say, too. 8th grade has been really nice. I have a teacher that owns a Ford Mustang. <coughs> a uh, Steeda. You can go look that up right now if you want to. Pause the video right now. <coughs> um, but the last day of summer vacation, oh my god, things were wild. Went to Niemer to a uh, Volkswagen dealership, tried to go see the new the new Jetta GLI, got to sit in the Golf R in this nice baby blue, like this nice metallic blue, I don't know if you guys can see that, let me know if you guys can see that, um, I'll actually have to see that right now, I think I sort of can, but you can see the sort of the blue, that's the car, um, alright, so I got to sit in that, that was really nice, and then Mercedes Benz, got to sit in my old AMG. I should talk about that in a little bit. <clears throat> Gotta sit in the AMG GTC, which is very lovely. Um, the S Class Cabriolet, which I've been dying to want to put in the collection, but I haven't. It's, it's way too damn freaking expensive. <laughs> and then I have. I, and then they took me back in the service bay, where they showed me a car that honestly I would have never even gotten to see. Um, I talked to a guy that owns an AMG GT2 down in New Jersey. He said he knows a guy that actually owns a car, so it was really cool. I'll just I'll subscribe I'll describe it. It's a, a 2016 AMG GT GT base GT S maybe. It's fully wrapped and matte black. It has like red lettering on the window on the window shield. The red and black interior was fully customized, so the red and the black was sort of mixed into a different tone way of the interior. <coughs> and the car had a Full carbon fiber front bumper. <coughs> really cool. Honestly. <laughs> I got to it back in the service bay and they showed us that. So that was really cool. <coughs> cool car scene. I'll show you them actually a little bit. I'll show you some of the best ones probably. Got to see the new Supra. <coughs> um, the, 20, the 2016 uh, Nissan GTR. 2020 R8. <coughs> the new BMW M8. Um, the 992. LC500 at the auto show. That was really nice. <clears throat> Look at S here. Got to see my Type R in the black again. Got to set a track hawk. And this one is the same. <clears throat> These two actually, I'll show you. Got to sit in the X4 Expedition. That thing I've been dying to put back in the collection because I had it at one point. And then I just got rid of it. I <clears throat> uh, went to Denoyer one night like I normally do in front of Arby's. And I sat in the AMG GT they had. Tried opening the rear. Lady's like, you can't sit in the AMG. And I already did. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> that was honestly just weird. Went to our first, I went to my first ever cars and coffee event at Maserati of Albany. That was really cool. But look what Bull Auto, the famous odd uh, exotic car dealership in upstate New York, got this. They got this in. I'm actually going to focus in on that. That's you guys can definitely. That way you guys can definitely see that. Lamborghini Huracan. 580-2. I mean, it was just insane to see that from my eyes. Cause 
Number one, you're in upstate New York. Upstate New York is not prone to supercars like this, although Long Island is the only place that really you can see it. <clears throat> um, and they had that. They had a 458 um, Spider, too, <clears throat> in red, too. I'll have to show you that one. Alright, but that one, I mean, it was freaking nice. Um, and I was just, like, walking around it. I was drooling. I could have even had the chance to sit into it, but the guy that probably would have opened it was currently in a deal with somebody else to get him into a car. Now I think about it, that's probably the red Ferrari, because that is gone now off the website, so, yeah. <clears throat> and then, man, that's mostly it. Um, the M8 was in a, like a full black, the M8 competition. Had a lovely interior. It was like a two two tone contrast between a white and a brown. It was freaking lovely. Those seats were sent down for race car heaven too. <coughs> um, another thing that also came to mind too from my home and careers class, I think in eighth grade. <coughs> um, did this thing. How? What job would you be? Would you want if you were older? And I did this whole packet that. I basically put in all my things in it. Came up with photography. So, now what I've been doing on Instagram, you can go follow me on Instagram, DenzyRx underscore FK8. I've been doing what's called a Photography Friday, where I go up and down my street, or maybe my yard, to the abandoned Camara at the end of the road, and the end of the road at the ditch. And I take pictures, photography-wise. <coughs> Excuse me, I have to show you one of the latest ones. Over the nights, we've been having a full moon. There is that. <clears throat> and then we have the abandoned Camaro in the snow. Like, see? It's really cool. And also, and I've also <clears throat> like, this one's more better because you can, like, it's like a, my camera's been really good at it. It's called Macros. It's really cool. Um, <clears throat> but I've been starting to do that. I've sort of been learning a lot more about the Camaro, too, cause as if it would be my first car, because I think it really would be a good first car idea to fix that up in the backyard. Alright. I've even been starting backgrounds. Look at this. Free backgrounds on Instagram. You guys can go take those if you want those off of my Instagram. I have tons of them. There's a ton of them, from cars to roses to fall, fall autumn leaves on trees to the abandoned Camaro. There's a ton. So even some that I take out of the dealership, too. That Nissan GTR, there's that, there's that too. They have, I have two Fieros and an MR2. I've got a lot. Even I got my dog too one night too. Um, but it's been a lot, a lot of fun using it too. I've been fully taking on the, the real reputation of my camera and using it. It's been a lot of fun too. Sorry if I'm talking a little too fast too. I want to try to get this video done in at least 10 minutes. Uh, so I have something that my camera can hold. <coughs> So you put it on my computer and then upload it from there and then I'll delete it off my camera. So, yeah. <coughs> I put the AMG Denoyer and I explained that. <coughs> um, the AMG to the 992. So I'm going to talk about the collection. This is what I want to talk about. <coughs> I no longer own my AMG. I fully sold it, actually. I think I'm tired of it. I actually got rid of it. And I have found the best solution for it yet. I currently have a BMW M8 that's alongside of it. I think I'm going to get rid of that too because I honestly don't want it. I don't want a lot of supercars. I've been lowering down my collection to a lot <coughs> more. Um, but I, got, I, I fully got rid of my AMG. And I replaced it with the 2020 Porsche 992 Carrera S. It's the rear wheel drive version of the 992. I sat in that thing at Porsche Club. Porsche of Clifton Park, and boy, it was lovely. <laughs> um, and it's been fully, it's it's become my um, AMG now, so it's it's been a joy owning it, honestly. It 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 it, it, it was really nice, and the price tag too. I didn't want something that was like two hundred thousand dollars too, because insurance might like, because insurance, I thought I knew insurance was gonna keep bumping it up and just. Like, it was crazy. Um, they kept on charging me way too much for the car. And I sort of thought about that. I'm like, yeah. So I got something that was less money, even less money. Um, <clears throat> so I picked the Porsche 992 Carrera S after I sat in that. I almost got a Lexus, Lexus LC500. So I sat in that. 
at the Albany Auto Show too that I did that collection with LC five hundred thoughts of what I when I sat in it too. <clears throat> that was at the Albany Auto Show. That was a really nice car. But then I sat in the Porsche and I said, yeah. <laughs> Cause I wanted something that was comfortable. The Lex Lexus would have been comfortable too. But it just didn't last that long. Until I sat in the Porsche, I was like, yeah, it was definite, yes. <laughs> I mean that the Porsche was really nice. It was really comfortable. So I was tired of the freaking bucket seat in my AMG. I know I could have just taken that out, but I sort of didn't want to pay a thousand dollars just to do that. <clears throat> so I sort of started looking for a new car, and I got the Porsche 992. The seats in that thing are lovely. They're very comfortable, and they're just really nice. It's a really nice car. All right. Um, my first car thoughts is the next one too. Actually, another thing. Um, I almost got arrested. I almost got arrested one time too. I went to a harvest fest. Harvest fest. With my mom. <clears throat> After we saw that nice Lamborghini and uh, talked somebody into sitting in the new Supra, Aaliyah. Turns out I got arrested. Maybe a little blurry. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I never got arrested. Um, There's a cop stand at the Harvest Fest over somewhere. Um, guy let me sit in the car. The police car, too. I even have a picture of that, too. And I got a picture of the front bar making me look like I got arrested. I showed another dog walker that I have. That walks with us in the late night too, which I'll talk to them about that in a little bit too. <clears throat> um, that I showed and she looked at that and said I got arrested and she 